everyone here I'm doing exercise 10.3 11th question the chapter is mensuration of class 6 the question is split the following shapes into rectangles and find their area the measures are given in centimeter so the first one is in shape of L and they have given different parameters that is dimensions they have given so you can uh, divide this in any way I'm gonna divide in this way I'm gonna put a, a line over here so you got two rectangle one is a this I'm gonna take it as a and this I'm gonna take it as B I'm gonna find the area of A and B both are rectangle separately I'm gonna add up now, but what are the dimensions here you can see we have got the whole length as 12 that's good but what is a uh, this size we don't know the this one right we can see that this is 2 and this line is parallel to this line means even the length of this line will become 2 because they both are parallel so this will also be a 2 here now we got all everything what we required now we're gonna find the area so for the first question I'm gonna find the area of A so area of A A is in shape of rectangle so area will become length into breadth so length is here 12 so 12 into breadth is 2 so 12 into 2 which is equal to 24 now next I'm gonna find the area of B so area of B is equal to uh, in the B you can see the length is 8 and the breadth is 2 so it is 8 into 2 so 8 to is a 16 now total area will become so total area is equal to 24 plus 16 which is 40 so we got 40 centimeter square this is the answer for the first question now let us go to the second one in the second one you can see we got a lot of 7 here I'm going to divide the shape in this way so we have to find the total area I'm going to divide this into uh, um, so many squares here now here we got one square here we got one here we got one now why I said square because you can see all the lengths are 7 which means length and breadth will be a 7 so when the both the sides are 11 the all sides are seven, uh, all sides are same it will become square now in the given question they have said to divide in rectangle remember square is also rectangle actually square come from rectangle in rectangle there are two sides of different length but here all sides are same that's a different that's it now you can see all the sides here this is 7 7 so if this is 7 now this side is parallel to this side so this will also become 7 now this is parallel to this this will also become 7 similarly this is parallel to this so this will become 7 and this will become 7 they are parallel and they are of same length so the ev all the sides here are 7 you can see there are 5 rectangles not rectangle I'm sorry square 5 squares we got 1 2 3 4 5 so we're gonna find the area of one square and multiply by 5 we're gonna get the whole area of the given figure now this is second question so area of one square will be area of one square is equal to it is side into side right so it will become 7 square or 7 into 7 which is 49 now we got 5 squares like this so area of 5 square will be or area of the whole uh, given figure we can say so area of uh, whole figure or whole shape we can say is equal to 5 into 7 square which is 49 so 5 into 49 so 5 into 49 when we do we're gonna get 245 so 245 centimeter square that is the answer for the next question now the last one in the last one I'm gonna just draw one single line over here now we got two rectangles in the first one you can see length is 5 and the breadth is 1 we got it let me take it as a now second one will be my B shape the length is 4 and breadth is 1 we don't have to do anything we have to we got all the dimensions we have to just substitute and get the answer so for the first one so area of a is equal to uh, length is 5 and breadth is 1 so it is 5 into 1 which is 5 so 5 centimeter square I'm gonna find the area of the second one so area of B is equal to 4 into 1 which is equal to 4 because the length is 4 and breadth is 1 so 4 ones are 4 so 4 centimeter square so total area will become total area will be 
5 plus 4 which is 9 so 9 centimeter square so this was a simple question I hope it is clear in case you have any doubt or question you can drop a comment and you want a solutions of all other questions from the same chapter you can go to the playlist mensuration class 6 thank you so much for watching